I'm Peg Breen from the New York Landmarks Conservancy. We're at Gould Memorial Library and the Hall of Fame for Great Americans at Bronx Community College. It's another tourist in your own town adventure. The Library and Hall of Fame are Beaux-Arts landmarks designed by the great Stanford White in 1899 and 1901. At the time, this was the uptown campus for New York University. This complex, which included two simpler classroom buildings, is considered one of Stanford White's master works. White's inspiration for the library was the Pantheon in Rome. A low dome rises over a broad cornice. Limestone pilasters decorate yellow Roman brick. Sandstone columns line the portico. The bronze doors were designed by White's son, Lawrence. They feature symbolic reliefs done by Stanford White's friends as a memorial after the architect's murder in 1906. Inside, a vestibule featuring beautiful Tiffany windows and a steep staircase leads to the great reading room. This spectacular circular room is considered one of the city's greatest interior spaces. It's topped by a soaring coffered dome. The rotunda is lined with Corinthian columns made of rare Connemora Irish green marble. Statues of Greek muses line the lofty balcony. Italian marble mosaic tiles cover the floor, and Tiffany stained glass windows encircle the rotunda's mezzanine level. Underneath the main floor is a lovely domed lecture hall. The library was a fitting tribute to financier Jay Gould by his family. Students now use a lovely new library designed by architect Robert A. M. Stern. But Gould Memorial is the star of the campus and could use a little TLC. White's open-air colonnade extends on both sides of the library in a neoclassical style. It's made of limestone and granite with a vaulted ceiling of Guastavino tiles. After White designed the colonnade, the university decided it should serve an educational purpose so they created the country's first Hall of Fame. The first Hall of Famers included founding fathers, George Washington, Alexander Hamilton, Benjamin Franklin. People from other fields were included, even women like Susan B. Anthony and Harriet Beecher Stowe. Famed sculptors, Daniel Chester French and Frederick Maimonides were among those who created the busts. Behind them all, there's a spectacular panorama of Upper Manhattan and views all the way to the Palisades. The Hall of Fame was once a very big deal, with fierce lobbying across the country for and against the nominees. An esteemed board of electors that included writers, historians, educators, elected officials, even former presidents, decided who would receive one of the coveted spots. So come enjoy the brilliant architecture and contemplate the busts of Americans who once made this country proud and who still deserve to be remembered.